I warned you, but did you listen to me? Oh, no, you knew it all, didn't you? Oh, it's just a harmless little bunny, isn't it? Hi everyone and welcome to another Heroes and Bosses video. This time I'm painting the Abomina Bunny from Green Horde. I'm going to start off by creating a custom base for the bunny. As hilariously tiny as this guy is, I want him on a bigger base seeing how he's a boss. So I've cut out a skeletal hand and now I'm cutting all around the bunny with wire cutters. You could cut him off the base, but this way he'll be somewhat elevated on the new base and there's no risk of damaging him. So I have a plain, unused base, and I'm going to decide how I want everything arranged before I get out the super glue. So once that's figured out, I'm gluing the pieces to the new base and giving it at least a half hour to dry. Next I'm using Sterling Mud to make everything look more natural, though Vallejo Earth or other mud textures would work just fine. The first thing you want to focus on if you're doing this as well is to make a slope leading up to the bunny. I'm also using this mud to blend the glued on features into the base. The sterling mud is also going to be my glue to attach a couple rocks. This first one is actually a piece of cork and the second is a small pebble. Once that's dried, I'm priming the whole miniature with Mechanicus Standard Grey Primer. I don't normally start with the ground, but it's going to need a lot of dry brushing, so better to do it first. For the ground, I'm using Army Painter's Dirt Spatter. Next, I'm giving the entire ground a wash with Agrax Earthshade. And to finish the ground off, I'm giving it a good dry brushing with Steel Legion Drab. Okay, now that the messy part is done, I'm going to start on the bunny. The first thing I'm going to do is paint on some gums. Gums make an animal look fierce, even if it's a harmless little bunny. For the gums, I'm using tanned flesh from Army Painter and a small amount of Screamer Pink mixed into it. Next I'm painting the body using a roughly 2 to 1 mix of White Scar and Hammerfall Khaki from P3. This should look like a dark cream color. I'm not going with a pure white because I need something to highlight up from. This is going to look messy at first since I'm painting over a darker color, but 2 to 3 thin coats will make it nice and uniform. Next I'm painting the teeth, and for this I'm using Vallejo's Ivory. I'm being careful not to hit the gums, but if I do, I still have the pink color on my wet palette and I can touch it up. From this point on, I could not stop laughing at how funny this huge grin looks like on a tiny rabbit. Next I'm painting the nails with Carrick Stone. I wasn't too worried about them showing up, but if you want to see the nails better, you could go with something like Skaven Blight Dinge or any really dark grey. Now I'm giving the teeth a yellow stain with some Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to put a wash of Agrax Earthshade mixed with an equal amount of water, but first I'm brushing over the body with a wet brush. This is to help the wash settle into the recesses. I don't normally do this, but I don't want the wash to stain the white color. So here you can see I'm selectively applying the wash. I just want to slightly darken all the folds in the fur and the underside of the body. The teeth are now dry, so I'm highlighting the back up with a single thin coat of Screaming Skull. Now 
Next I'm doing the eye, and I'm starting off by covering the eye with demonic yellow. This color doesn't coat very well, so I put on three thin coats onto each eye. Luckily they bulge out quite a bit, so they're easy to paint. Once that paint is dried, I'm covering both eyes with Fugan Orange Wash. Again, letting that dry before I touch the center of each eye with some more demonic yellow. Next I'm painting the inside of the ears and the tip of the nose. I'm first going to mix two shades of pink using Screamer Pink and White Scar. One color is roughly 2 to 1 white in Screamer Pink, and the other is close to 1 to 1. Really you just want a light pink and a slightly darker pink. So starting off I'm painting a bit of the dark pink at the bottom of each ear. Next I'm taking the lighter pink and painting the rest of the inside of the ear with it. After that I'm just going to use thin layers of each to smooth out the color transition where they meet. For instance in this part I put a small amount of the dark at the base and then using a damp brush I'm just slowly coaxing it up the ear to blend it into the lighter pink. Now I'm going to highlight the fur using pure white scar. I've mixed this roughly 50-50 with water and I'm just getting a small amount of my brush at a time so it doesn't run. Then I'm just brushing mostly upwards from the darkest point of the fur to the lightest. Obviously I'm trying to avoid getting too close to the creases in the fur where I want shadow. I'm leaving those areas completely untouched. I'm just going to speed up this part for you a bit so you can see all the areas that I'm focusing on with the highlights. That's the bunny completed, so now I'm going to finish off the base. First I'm painting both the skull and the skeletal arm with Ushabdi bone. Don't worry too much if you get this on the dirt, it's easy to touch up later. For the rocks I'm using Mechanicus Standard Grey. The next thing I'm doing for the bones is applying a wash of Agrax Earthshade Gloss. Now I'm doing a simple dry brush on the rocks using Celestra Grey. These are just small rocks so a dry brush with just one color is going to work fine. For the bones I'm also doing just one layer of dry brush with the original color Ushabdi Bone. And finally I'm going back to the dirt spatter and cleaning up any spots in the dirt that were hit by the dry brushing. That's all the base colors done, so I'm painting the rim of the base with a mix of black and eschen grey. I'm letting all that dry, then spraying the whole thing with a matte varnish before adding some finishing touches. Here I'm spreading on some PVA glue mixed with a small amount of water in some random places for flock. This first bit of flock is Summer Blend. It's a really fine and mossy looking. And I'm only giving that a minute or two, because I'm really impatient near the end, before I add some more glue and sprinkle on some citadel grass. And 
And here is the finished Abomina Bunny. Thank you very much to my patrons for all their continued support on Patreon. If you want to be part of the community and vote for miniatures that you want to see painted and also post some pictures of your own, come visit us on Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.